Yeah, I have a lot of a couple of topics to share. The most qu uh, question that I received, I've been working as a lecture engineer for around five years. I helped over than 20 people to get their first job with Elixir uh, in Brazil and outside Brazil as well. And I have a main skill that for me is one of the most important that I saw in all of them. Uh, and I would like to share a couple of my experience. Uh, I've deployed around 20 projects or, or over than 20 projects using Elixir. Uh, at top tell, I worked in around five projects with Elixir as well. And as I mentioned, this is the first, this, that, that's the main question that I got from my students, which they, they came to me and they, they tell me, Gus, how can I get my first job with Elixir in Brazil and now outside Brazil? And I have a couple of topics to share with you about uh, how you can get your first job, uh, steps that you can do to get your first job. Most of the people that come to me saying, uh, guys, I want to get a job outside Brazil or I want to get a job or if they live in uh, other countries, they told me like, I want to get a job in the US and I want to share some steps for you. And I would like to start with kind of jobs that you can find. But before, as I mentioned, uh, I worked in around, I deployed at least 20 projects with Elixir in Pro. I use a lot of tools such as uh, Elixir, Kubernetes, uh, Fly. But uh, talking about uh, the most important thing is about a job, I would say for you, which is the first thing that you need to pay attention to is to create your opportunity. Why? When I decided to work uh, with Luxor, things that happened in my career five years ago, six years ago, was super hard to get a job with Luxor because I couldn't find even my own country. Outside Brazil was super hard because we didn't even know Luxor because Luxor started being we we started being talking about Luxor three years from now, but five years ago was super hard. And I'm gonna share with you kind of jobs that you can uh, try to do, which is the local freelancer on projects. And the most that I receive is abroad. When you start, you probably want to, if you don't have any experience with Elixir, I would say to you to start uh, your own projects. I would say portfolio. I'm going to give you some resources to, uh, okay, thank you. It's a Rodrigo. See if it, now it's get better. Let me do it. So hang on. What about now? Is it better, Rodrigo? Yeah, thank you so much for telling me that. But I usually say that if you want to get a job, one of the most things that you should start is building a portfolio and study Elixir. Try to solve a uh, problem that you have. For example, one of the problems that I'm facing now is that if you don't know, I produce contents now only in English about the Litzer and things that I'll have to do now. I want to use the chat GPT and I want to get the video, get the uh, extract the audio, ask to chat GPT, uh, listen this, then after listening, give me the translation, then I want to start providing some uh, contents and just uh, send a couple emails. Another problem that I faced, I have to, when you uh, join to my Luxor course, uh, I had to create, I have to create invoices in my local, in, in my in my country, and especially in my city. So what I did, I created communication between uh, the government uh, and my city, 
uh, with my Elixir platform, I solved a couple of projects to, uh, I created a couple of projects to solve my own problems. So as I mentioned, I'm trying to use now uh, AI to make the, to produce con content with Elixir faster. So that's why I'm telling you to start creating your own projects. Sometimes when I go to interviews, uh, when it's, when I started working with Elixir, after creating my own project, I got a couple freelancers. My tips for you, uh, talk with your friends, especially those who has company. Uh, yeah, I'm going to share with you. I'm going to show with you. Uh, but talk with your friends, especially who has companies, for example. Uh, Rodrigo asked me to uh, sh uh, share the projects that I work as a freelancer. One of them was, um, I have a friend, as I mentioned, I created a portfolio. And five years ago, one of my friends told me, Gustavo, I want to manage the stock of my clients automatically. So I want to have like, uh, when they sell on the internet, I want uh, to reduce uh, the products that, that they have automatically because I had to stop working and get my uh, employees to work only in this project. And when he told me that, I solved the, his problem with Elixir. So I started with uh, my own project. I started studying Elixir, trying to solve problems for me daily. After that, I started uh, getting freelancer jobs, not exactly with Elixir, but I suggest to use Elixir and I got those projects. And then I finally get my first job uh, with using Elixir uh, five years ago in my country. Here we are talking about my project was uh, open banking here in Brazil. So what happened here? I think this is the most common that people start getting a job like local country and then abroad. But the local, con uh, when I started, uh, getting my first job locally. Uh, I had the product that I have my friends. I have my personal projects using Elixir. Also, I was studying Elixir a lot, like two hours daily. And when I joined to this company, they asked me, do you have experience with Elixir? They only wanted someone who has a desire to work with Elixir, not someone with experience. That time, I had a portfolio and I had my freelance, uh, my freelance job that I did and another project that I made as a freelancer to share with them to get my first job officially with Elixir. And at the end of this meetup, I'm going to share uh, um, the main skill that I consider you to get your first job. So after that i started working with elixir i started uh helping a couple of people that come to my youtube channel and ask me hey can you help me to get a job with elixir i have a company and i have a test so they came to me sent me an email and i started helping my my um subscribers to get their first job uh with elixir and i asked to myself hey i have an english i know how to speak in english what about if I do the same? And that's what I did. After uh, creating my own projects, trying to sell my projects, then working as a freelancer, and then working in my country, I got my jobs in uh, outside Brazil, where I uh, was in California, New Jersey, uh, in the United States, like New York as well, uh, Columbus, Ohio, and other projects that I'm going to share. I'm going to share a couple more projects. But abroad, I had my uh, portfolio. I had my uh, free lesser jobs done. And I had my local jobs done. The latest that most of most of you guys wants to uh, get a job abroad, what I recommend to you is this is steps here. I have an article here uh, on my uh, Elixir uh, platform uh, explaining about uh, abroad jobs, about uh, 
things that you need. For example, you need experience with another language, at least because most people come to Elixir after work worked with uh, .NET, uh, Java, Python, or even JavaScript, React. Understand how Elixir Core works. I mean, Elixir pattern matchings, Ecto, OPP, and in Phoenix. Create a little pitch about yourself uh, in third person. For example, I have around 20, 20 pitches uh, focused on my clients. Also, prepare a cover letter, create a resume focus on Elixir. So a couple of my students come to me and say, guys, I don't have experience with Elixir officially because here in Brazil, they usually not hire a software engineer, but they are focused on a Java engineer or JavaScript engineer. But they worked in a couple projects about Elixir in, in the same companies, like suggesting Elixir and worked around one year in a project, but they don't mention that on their uh, CV. Prepare good questions for the interviewer. This is the mo one of the most important things. So one of these skills that I noticed that it's very important uh, before the main skill is that uh, being able to help the company uh, with your Elixir skill, not only to get a job, but uh, focus on help the company to achieve their goals. Elixir is just the middle what is the desire that you want to achieve. But the company Elixir is the middle. I mean, Elixir is the middle of how you can help companies. For you, is the final because you want to work with Elixir. But use Elixir to help the company. Uh, be prepared to read. We decide to not, to move with, um, not to move forward with you because you're going to receive that a lot. Like, there was a time that I shared my uh, resume with around 20 companies uh, to get my to get job with Alexa. And I received a lot of emails saying that we decided not to move with you. It's okay. It's going to happen. Uh, send your CV to companies that make sense for you. And also, never stop learning. Uh, I give some tips here. Um, about uh, what you have to do as well. This is a very straightforward uh, article to read and very small, but it's useful. Uh, if you don't have any ideas how to start a portfolio, so um, on my Elixir course, let me share it here for a little while, uh, you're gonna, now it's with 40% discount, but what you're gonna learn, uh, basic of Elixir, uh, you're going to start creating APIs using Phoenix, uh, AWS, and Deploy by Client CI CD, and live view with Kubernetes created distributed system. So, I prepared a couple uh, posts here. So, if you don't have ideas how to start with a portfolio, for example, this uh, video that I shared a couple weeks ago, this is related to. Uh, uh, Phoenix and gel location. So you can have some ideas or you can see other uh, YouTube channels or other courses and start building your portfolio and share with the company. There was time that I just uh, shared a uh, personal project uh, with companies and they decided to move forward with me. I think that I have only 20 minutes, right? So I think I'm good for now, but one more thing, I interviewed a couple of people to work with me in the past, and I had good Elixir engineers to work, and people that have never dealt with the language, but one of the things that they shared with me was desired to, desired to work with Elixir. When I saw people with this desire to work with Elixir and motivated, motivation, that made me feel more confident to uh, move forward with them in the interview process instead of someone who just uh, sent me the CV and share their skill. Share the desire to work with Elixir. I have one of my students in the past that uh, 
uh, he shared the CV with companies, and one of them uh, uh, replied him saying, uh, "We decided not to move forward with you." And he asked, "Why?" I was so I was so excited about this job. Can you share at least why you did you decided not to move forward? And that was just like an um, automatic email. I think they didn't see his CV, his uh, resume. And after that, was uh, they moved forward with him in a couple more steps. And so, just show the desire to work with Elixir, especially with that company. This means he will make a, a lot of difference to get your first job with Elixir because people always will see on you passion, uh, desire to solve their problems, and probably uh, a lot of motivation to work with Elixir, and especially with that specific company. Well, I think uh, I shared a couple bullet points about my career and things that probably will help you. Uh, I know that uh, Rodrigo mentioned one more skill, uh, uh, one more one question about um, projects that I worked. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all from my side, and I'm able to answer questions. Yeah, thank you, Gustavo. So we are now proceeding to the Q and A uh, mode. Uh, so I'm uh, opening the Q&A mode right now, and uh, in the meantime, you can uh, maybe ask some, uh, answer some questions that have been asked before that. Uh, so maybe, uh, maybe the first one is uh, from Rodrigo, uh, who's asking, uh, can you show me the places where you work in the project as a freelancer? Yeah, so I worked in a project where I had one of them, I'm gonna share a couple of them, maybe three. Uh, I worked at State Trace Company where uh, it was a live view project to monitoring the database in real time. The project was focused on imagine that you have a doctor surgery and you had to uh, track all the movements that's going to happen and we decided to use Elixir. Phoenix and Live View, and monitoring the database in the real time and creating logs about that. Another project that I liked to work was uh, creating an API to store. Uh, was about picking and deliver products, uh, and one of them was related to handle with million data using Elixir under ten minutes. So in ten minutes, you could store like ten. 1 million uh, data into the database and validating a lot of business rules. Uh, another project that I worked that I liked a lot was related to uh, uh, using the real, the live view to and creating like a distributed app where uh, if you upload a file, I'm going to block all the users on the same page and everyone who access the same page will be blocked and after processing uh, in the backing route, those PDFs allow everyone to uh, access the page and um, uh, and access the app again. Yeah, thank you for your answer. And to continue uh, Rodrigo's questions, uh, Rodrigo is, uh, is telling us that about uh, him finishing a contract on a Ruben Race project and looking for co companies to return to Elixir. And there is a remark about uh, the Portuguese job market in which there don't seem to be any vacancies there. And uh, given the special relationship between Brazil and Portugal, I, th I thought maybe if you are familiar with um, the Portuguese market, then you could share us some insight about that as well or uh, or is that not something you know a lot about um finish confirming we'll be on this person we're looking for other companies projects to return to uh, the lips here well uh i can share with you a couple companies here in brazil some of them are uh Bat love stone uh swap 
uh, I think predictors as well. Uh, look at you can uh, search for them. I think it's gonna be useful. But I think I, I, I can just share a couple of companies. I've been working more uh, outside Brazil instead of here. But I think those companies is enough. Atelier as well. And I forgot one more. But did I answer your question? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Rodrigo is saying yes. So uh, thank you for, uh, for your answer. Uh, so the next question comes from uh, Herbert. I think uh, we have, uh, I, I think we, I think Herbert is our, um, our regular guest. So welcome again. Uh, what kind of sample projects would you recommend us to include in our online portfolio? Uh, so is it, I think sign up or login demo or a crude example or any others. So maybe before we proceed to the second one, let's, let's focus on this one first. Okay. So, um, well, I can share with you uh, my experience. Actually, what, when you think of, if you think about Phoenix and back end, uh, I would recommend to use like a sign in and sign up demo is key, but add a couple more complexity, for example, like a uh, book, uh, a movie, for example, or uh, like uh, academy or like a uh, workout exercise list, like something related to uh, a checklist about workout that uh, people will accomplish. Uh, crude example, uh, one more. I have a couple examples here. Can you give me one second? I think this question is really good. Let me see one more. Uh, maybe something related to geolocation, for example. Uh, See the video that I mentioned here? Let me share. Can I share well, a link, please? Can I share a link? Yeah, you can. Uh, let me share one link. Maybe using Latitude and Longitude and imagine that you're going to, for example, for charity, like child's charity, for example, uh, locations that you have, a uh, place that you can um, send um, like toys, like, and prepare this kind of stuff. Let me see what else, a good example. Like, maybe a learning platform using the back end. Sign in, sign up, login. I, if you think about the live view, you can use the Genie Off, it's more straightforward. About crude, it's straightforward to use the, the live view as well. But I would recommend you to do it by yourself before um, moving to uh, generate context using the Phoenix. Should I focus on Elixir for coding uh, REST API GraphQL project exclusively? So it depends. Uh, on my career, when I have a green field, I always recommend a full stack app using Live View, Phoenix, Elixir, Acto, uh, like the, the most famous, which is the better stack without uh, Alpine. I like that a lot, but if you have in your hands a REST API portfolio and GraphQL, that would be good, good as well. Did I answer? I think this is a brilliant answer to this question. Uh, probably the, 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 the conclusion is that everything which is uh, anything which is more than a generated scaffold uh, and has an added value over that uh, is, a, is a really great example to have in your portfolio. Um, yeah, so uh, let's proceed to the next one and I encourage you go, you guys to uh, ask uh, further questions in the Q&A. Uh, would you recommend some websites where we can render our services as a freelance Alex developer? Uh, question from Gerald. Okay. Well, uh, 
mostly uh, I use the top towel. We have a couple more. Uh, we have the terrain. Let me share a couple of them. Top towel. It's a little bit harder to join. Uh, terrain. Uh, one more that I forget the name. Let me see. I have a couple list here. Can I share here? Uh, if you allow me, I can share a couple platforms that you can share. Oh, out. Yeah. So I think this list is useful that you can find uh, your job. I think for this answer, I have a couple of them in my chair. Yeah, thank you for the answer. Uh, so let's uh, move on to, to the next one from uh, Zorislav. Uh, can we get some Elixir certificate somewhere? And do we need it? The answer is that you don't need the Elixir certificate. You can get Elixir certificates by Roxio, uh, Pragmatic Studio. Uh, my Elixir course, you have the certificate. But I think the most important uh, is you create your own portfolio at the beginning, uh, sharing uh, how do you think about Elixir, how you split the responsibility, how do you test, how do you deploy. I think that's the most important is that you share with the companies uh, things that will make them feel confident and comfortable to move forward with you to uh, deliver free features, finished features uh, with qualities. I think that is the most important. Yeah, uh, I think uh, I think that's that's a good answer to, to the question because. Uh, honestly, at Curiosum, for example, we have never really cared about Elixir certificates yeah. in the recruitment process. So I can tell you this uh, from our experience as an agency. Uh, there are much more ways to uh, distinguish good, really good and really talented developers from all the others. So. Um, yeah, that's not that's not a thing uh, companies look at unless there is like a public uh, public sector order somewhere maybe in which this some some kind of certifications might be a requirement. I don't know if if this uh, happens in practice, but this is feasible that it could happen in the future. Yeah, I one hundred percent agree. The most important is not the certification, but how you feel confident to uh, finish features and help the company to grow with their features. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, is there anyone else, anyone else who would like to ask uh, Gustavo questions about his presentation today? Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting in the public uh, channel on the chat. Um, yeah, no more questions, I, I think. So, um, yeah, I think if there are no more questions, then uh, that's it. Uh, so uh, thank you very much, Gustavo, for your presentation today. Uh, we, uh, we all really appreciate that. And uh, we also had a great Q&A session at the end. So uh, thank you once again. And uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, the same way, way as I did. Um, thank you. So, yeah. Bye-bye.